Robert Chip Thurston III will inherit $50 million if he survives the weekend. Was it something I said? I don't believe she has the old bomb and raw protein. Chippy, get off our knees. It's so unattractive. Yeah. Come on, training that dog. In a minute. But Margo, what about me? You know perfectly well how to take care of yourself. Preppies. This is where they're hatched. I think my aunt got rejected from this club. All right, I admit it. I have these things. <laughs> Vile! <laughs> wow, I bet you they have a little stock exchange in the basement. Catch me. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I hope I wasn't too forward. Not enough. I've seen that man before. The beast. How nifo. I want this scum out of here right now. O U T. We want to stay. Forty bucks says you can't stand this egg. What's your paper on? Oh, Mel responds to popular erotic cinema. You mean porn? Really? <laughs> See how well you dance. What dance? I'm white and wasp, but you ain't got no rhythm. Try. Come on. Tip! This thing's real good! Go! 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 Preppies, an outrageous movie of Ivy League insanity. What's the catch? They're preppies. Preppies, an undignified film. Rated. You are about to experience the most disgusting exploitation that's ever been my good fortune to stumble across. Alvin had it. Now Melvin's got it. And every woman he meets wants it. Sex just seems so dangerous. For the first time on television, the rude, nude, and very funny. If we give you some of our popcorn, will you come up with that? Well, I'll be out of here. A surefire chip off the old block, Melvin Purple more than lives up to his legendary dad's name. So come along for the most outrageous ride of your life with Melvin, son of Alvin, 8.30 Wednesday on 7. You and me are going to have some real fun. Why would four teenage boys think of it as a great adventure? Spend their summer working at a sleepy Mexico resort. I know about these places, you guys. Welcome to paradise. Peace. Are you married, ma'am? Just shut up. Is it for love? Uh, I'm in love. For beauty. For stimulation of the mind. Or is it for stimulation? This place is full of crazy women. I'm I'm not going to sleep in there. Hot chili, where men can be men. You're no here on vacation. You're here to work. The perverts. You in the Come on, you guys. This isn't funny anymore. I don't believe this. <laughs> Nobody likes me. I told you never speak to me again. I believe in kind of an exchange of energy between two human beings. Ah! <laughs> My God. Do you play any instrument? I love the organ. I will give you your first lesson free. You're all disgusting! <laughs> Boy, if my mother could see me now. Hot chili. Sometimes a little spice is all the variety you need. I love hot chili. Oh! <laughs> hot chili.
His name was Pondo. Pondo Sinatra. You know he came to the college on the back of a turnip truck? That's the truth. Problem was, he had only one thing on his mind. He had a heart on. I was a janitor at that college for 23 years, and I never seen a boy try harder than he did to get himself a woman. But he was jinx. Even for a white boy, he was awkward. Old Pondo had an almost a supernatural ability to get on the wrong side of a woman. Who would have ever thought it would turn out the way it did? Strangely enough, I was his best friend through the whole ordeal. Uh, I, I remember the first time I saw him driving up in the back of that turnip truck. I thought to myself, now there's a geek. But basically, he was just a very nice guy. Uh, he just had a one-track mind. He was obsessed. I went out with Pando once and one time only. Never again. I'd heard about him, and everything I heard about him was true. And now he's famous. I don't believe it. No, no, capisco. Non ieri ma capitato. Pando, Sinatra, no. There was something about him. I think he made me want to throw up. He was what you call in America a nerd. All this talk, it's like Panda was turned into this big myth or something. He was just an ordinary guy. He was very horny, yes, but he was an ordinary guy. I heard he was raised on a pig farm. I believe it. He wasn't that bad. I was the first one. It all started with me. I think I'm the one that should be famous, not him, creep. I tried to introduce him to campus life. There were some amazing looking girls at this school. I tried to teach him about sports. I tried to teach him to walk like a step. It was hopeless. I mean, everyone agreed. Ando Sinatra was going to die a virgin. I, I never dreamed that it would turn out the way it did. Women hate me. It's ridiculous. I'd sell my soul for a piece of ass. Don't say that. It's true. Well, I know it might be true, but don't say it out loud. I'd sell myself for a piece of ass! I'm sorry you said that. Pondo, no! No, Pondo! Why not? I'm not that kind of a girl! Yes, you are! Pondo, stop it! Why? Oh. I don't know you well enough! Please. No. I'm a virgin. Get used to it. Please, I gotta know what it's like. I'm going blind. Pondo, don't beg. Why not? Drive me home. Bend over and I'll drive you home. That's disgusting. Don't go. I'm sorry. I'm... Please. Ah. Uh, Pondo Sinatra, everything I've heard about you is true. You're an animal, and you're disgusting, and you're gross. Can I call you tomorrow? Seduction is an art. You make love, you create art. You, Pondo, you wage war, you understand? Sully, it is a war. It's hell. Old Pondo was 26 years old when he started to college. Now, you've heard of a second-year senior. Well, old Pondo, he was, he was a fifth-year senior. They finally held an election and, and booted the boy out.
to set set the mood. The mood. Romancer. Romancer. Woo. Woo. Charm. Charm. Atmosphere. Pondo. Set the stage. Just setting the stage. The stage? I love the theater. Oh, oh, oh do you? Your blocks, your stones, your worst than senseless things, your creeks where dead men's fingers grow. <laughs> Brilliant bravo! Testing. One, two, three. Thank you. Of course, you know I'm theater major, yes? I am a thespian. A lesbian? No! I am an actress. <laughs> oh, fine. I like to show off. <laughs> You'll see? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo! Curtain. We got a live one, Pondo. <laughs> Big blue. Oh, God, I love nature. I love the sun and its hydrogen licking my burning skin. Testing. I love the grass roaring out of the ground. Protoplasm come to get me. <laughs> I love the wind whirling. What's that? Um, a hearing aid. Oh, I talk loud. That's okay. That's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Don't panic. Give her the champagne. Do you want some champagne? I can do without the sham. Just give me the pen. Don't whine. Mm, don't whine. Oh, it's pun, yes? <laughs> Are you a poet? Are you a wit? I'm a nitwit. Uh, I'm a nitwit. I'm a halfwit. I'm a halfwit. I'm a moron. I'm a moron. Really? God damn you, Stanley. Really? Will you just trust me on this, okay? Before you. Before you. I am wordless and brainless. I am wordless and brainless. Struck dumb. Struck dumb. And left mindless. And left mindless. Before the ferocious intelligence of your beauty. Before the ferocious intelligence of your beauty. Beautiful. You silver tongue little devil. <laughs> <laughs> no devil. No devil. You are certainly no saint. I am a pilgrim. I am a pilgrim. <laughs> Come to worship. Come to worship. Worship what pilgrim? My headphones are out! That's okay. I can hear you. Worship what, pilgrim? Uh, no. Worship what? Tell me and I'm yours. You tell me. Make up something. Uh, the holy spot. No! The fertile delta? No! The bearded clam. Pondo! I thought you were a poet. I am, I am. Well, then make love to me in verse. Go, do it. Do it. But I'm leaving. Uh, roses are red. Uh? Violets are blue. You got big tits, I want to suck on them, too. I'm waving. Wait, Natasha! Good Natasha! evening, ladies. Welcome to hell. <laughs> I can get down. Oh, yeah. I'm a party out. I can get down, fellas. How do you expect me to party with no tools? I'm a party
you have got to learn to knock. You got enough knockers in here. What you want? I'm gonna kill myself. I know. Don't give up. All right. All right. I'll help you. You will? Sure. How? Have you ever seen this gold nurse? She's beautiful. She's yours. Mine? For the asking. How? What do I say to her? You get her to examine you. What did I say? Tell her you got a problem with your pecker. I got a problem with my pecker. Your what? My hooter. How long have you had it? When I had my hooter all my life. What's the problem with your member? My what? Your member. Well, I never thought of him as a member. I kind of always thought of him as a loner. Take off your pants. Underwear, too? I'll take off mine if you take off yours. Get up on the table. Oh, no, don't. No. giving up. You just need some training. Training? What do you mean, You need to know what to do. I don't know what to do. But you don't know how to do it. You need a teacher. You should do it my teacher. What? You should do it my teacher. I want to take you to see my teacher, Elba. Elba? Elba. Okay. Oh, shit, Studley, I'm sorry. Hey, it's all right, man. So you come to old Elbow for some advice, huh? Yes, sir. You ain't getting no pussy, is you? No, sir. Why do you think we call pussy pussy? Well, I don't know, sir. Cause it's furry? No. Uh, Cause it's warm? Uh-uh. Cause it's scratch when it gets angry? No. Well, what then? No, it don't purr. And it don't meow! And why do we call it pussy? I don't know, sir. Cause that old hound dog wanna eat it up. You got to be the hound dog. You got to let that pussy know you the hound dog. Put it in your mind. Be it in your body. Hound dog's gonna eat that pussy. You hear you say that, boy? Hound dog is gonna eat that pussy. Oh. Hound dog's gonna eat that pussy. Hound dog is gonna eat that pussy. Hound dog. Hound dog. One more. Hound 
dog's gonna eat that pussy. Hound dog is gonna eat that pussy. Lula Bell. Should play some cards? What kind of cards do you want to play? Strip poker? Fine. All right, now does everybody understand how to play? I don't understand. You mean, if I lose, I lose my clothes? Absolutely. Littlest card loses. Oh, so. If I lose, I lose big, no? <laughs> big one, let's see how you like it. There you go. One for you. Okay, show your cards. Seven. Seven. Nine. Nine? Nine. Seven. Nine. 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 <laughs> what did you get? I got a two. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. God. Yeah. Well, you gotta play by the rules. Off it comes. I'm embarrassed. Oh, Don't be. Just us. Come on. Show the boobies. Take off your goddamn shirt. Sure. Oh, my little one here. She 
always win. Shut up. All right, go ahead. Women hate me. It's because I'm ugly. You're not ugly. I'm short. Napoleon was short. Did he ever get laid? All the time. I'm from Alabama! Well, I'm sure that Southern people get laid. Studley, we lost the war. Well, yeah, I know, but I mean, that was years ago. A defeat like that kills all the romance in a woman's heart. I really find that hard to believe. I'd sell my soul for a piece of ass. Don't say that. It's true. Well, I know it might be true, but don't say it out loud. I'd sell my soul for a piece of ass! I think you need some new clothes. Clothes make the man. Now, I want you to go to Willinger's. You got that? Willinger's. It's a clothing store. You tell them to give you the works. Willingers. Still, they said to give me the works. Don't worry about it, because I got it all figured out. This is absolutely guaranteed to get you laid. I have never seen this fail. One blue job, twenty-two fifty. One hand job, eleven fifty. One hemorrhoid massage, twelve ninety-five. 
Hi, girls. Panda, come on. No, don't go away. Come on, don't be embarrassed. Attaboy. Hi, girls. What the hell? Oh, oh my God! It's only a cockroach. I got money. Oh, don't have to fuck my father. Okay, wait a minute. Damn, all dressed up, and no place to go. It didn't help. He keeps trying to kill himself. That's because he can't get no tails, Dudley. But I tell you something. The more tail you get, the more tail you get. Now, you ought to know that, Dudley. Yes, sir. Well, the less tail you get, the less you get. Now, that's true, too. Amen. Now, Pondo is going downhill, and he's picking up speed by the minute. The best just to get out of the way. I can't do that. He's my best friend. This is bigger than friendship. This is what you call uh, cosmic. Really? Yeah. Uh, the Buddhists call it, let me see, uh, reincarnation. I thought you were a Baptist. I figure Pondo is paying for some past lifetime. He'd be bad back there. Maybe a uh, pharaoh. <laughs> Maybe he had a harem of a thousand wives. A thousand wives? You know, maybe he was a jackrabbit. A jackrabbit? Yeah. Now, that explains it. In past life, Pondo was a horny little jackrabbit. And he got so much rabbit pussy, the good Lord said, you can't have no more. <laughs> <laughs> that explains it all. <laughs> I don't know. I have never seen anybody try so hard. Me neither. But you know what? That's nature. And Mother Nature is a beautiful woman. You know, she be the final piece of ass. Understand? Yes, sir. Leave it be. That's what you call karma. Karma? Karma.
Who's that? Trouble. See that girl everywhere I go. I even started dreaming about her. Hey, you forget her. Forget hell, now that's a woman. Dudley, how the hell am I gonna get laid? Drugs. Women love drugs.
Who's he? You don't want to know. All right, what's this for? Twins. Do you know how unhappy this one paragraph makes me? You know what this is about? This is about the salt tox. You know what the salt tox are? Yeah, sure, boss. Strategic Arms Limitation Treaty. That's right, that's very good. So what they do, they say, well, listen, we'll get some more missiles. Moscow has more missiles, we need more missiles. So they come up with a new program. They call it START. You know what START is? Strategic Arms Reduction Talks? That's very good, too. But you see, what it really means is it's the start of the end. It's the start of nuclear destruction in this world as we know it today. Wait a minute, I can give you a little audio-visual aids here. Well, let's see. You take this missile here, okay? This will represent a missile in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Okay? This will be the death count four in Colorado. All right? Those are yours. And we'll set up some missiles in Moscow. I got this one and this one over here, okay? Red square right there. And let's say this is the president, okay? So, one day, he comes in the office after having a bad night. Hasn't been so good for him, right? So this prick comes into his office, scratches his head, and says, I think I'll blow up the world today. Leans over, presses the button. What's that do? That launches your missile from Pittsburgh, right? Go ahead, launch it. Go. And so Moscow sees it coming and says, Oh, Matikonsky is sending a muscle. We have to take care of this. <laughs> Russia's really pissed off now, right? So what they do is they decide to send a missile of their own, right? Okay, we've got a mess here, a total mess. But one more thing. Russia's got a missile they've been keeping up their sleeve. They roll it into position, they launch it, and... We're fucked. It's a shame because, you know, I love America. America could have been somebody. America could have been a contender. I need something to help me with women. You came to the right place. Well, sell me something. I got just the thing here for beginners. Got a little starter model right here. What is it? It's a vibrator. <laughs> I'll take it. What size do you want? I want the biggest one you got. The M5, boss? The M5. Yeah. You don't want that one. He wants it. You don't want that one, kid. I want it. The M5 sexual device? You don't want that one, kid. Yes, he does. He wants the M5. The M5's the greatest sexual device ever devised. You I want, want the M5! Oh, no, come on. It's cold out here. Oh, yeah, I'll be
be right back. This'll be worth it. No more. Let her rip. Help you. I'm here to see the dean. Really? Name. Pondo Sinatra. Mr. Sinatra is here to see you. Yes, ma'am. You can go right in. Thanks, ma'am. This thing blocked out the entire campus last night, Mr. Sinatra. We have rules at this college, Mr. Libido. And if you do not abide by those rules, you'll be out on your ass. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. You may go. Absolutely anything is possible. From interstellar communications to the development of a functioning aphrodisiac. <laughs> now, let us first look. Uh, Professor Schmidt. Yeah, Herr Sinatra. What is an aphrodisiac? The word aphrodisiac comes from the African root. Afro. Meaning large penis. Und the Greek Gizyak, which means want it bad. Now, class, please repeat after me. Aphrodisiac und large penis want it bad. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> uh, professor? Yeah, yeah. If one wanted to make an aphrodisiac, what would one do? One would have to find, you see, that element which most stimulates the female libido. <laughs> something for you. I'll bet you do. No, it's not what you think. What is it? You will never guess. A hot beef injection? No. A trouser worm? Uh-uh. What is it? What's that? Well, this is, a. Uh, it's, a. Uh, no. <laughs>
Hey. These are... No. Gas pills. What? They make you fart. Make you fart? Shh. Come on. <laughs> now I've done it. 22 years of blue balls and now it's over. <laughs> Him. He's my best friend. I can't get anyone else on campus to go out with him. Please, Dudley. Now, he, he does not speak Italian. Italiano? Bueno, bueno. No, 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 no. No Italiano. No? Maledizione. Capisce. Uh, he's gonna be here at six o'clock. Buongiorno, Dudley. Uh, yeah. Bello. Swallow. Just swallow. Swallow. That's good. Amore mio. Let's take your car. Saranno stati quelli gli spaghetti americani di ieri sera.
Mr. Sinatra, you leave me no choice. Your presence at this university can no longer be tolerated. God knows what I'm going to tell the parents of these poor children. Sight, is it, Pondo? Are you pleased with yourself? Pack your things and get out. Hey, Pondo. I heard you got thrown out of school. Yes, sir. Well, you don't have to clean up that mess. I'll clean it up. Don't worry about it. I made the mess. I'll clean it up. You got it. Hi, Holly. It's eating me alive. Easy, baby. Now I'm gonna show you the eighth wonder of the world. Don't you touch me. Oh. Holly, uh, can I... Things 
Six weeks. Yeah, fiends. Women. Girls. 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 Pondo, the girl is a half a mile away. girls live behind steel doors. No sweat. No man has ever made it to the third floor of this building. Suddenly, no sweat. All right. Contraire, Pondo. Look. Pondo. Pondo. Go. Reality's a dream. A game in which I seem to never find out just what I am. I don't know if I'm an actor or a sham or a sham. But if you don't mind. Even I don't know if I should be believing this empty perceiving. But if you don't mind, I, 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 I,
That's my time, though. <sighs> and stop. Pondo, I am so proud of you. We gotta get you back in school. I gotta see the dean. She's busy. <sighs> but I'm not. New in town, sailor. I've got a headache. <laughs> you need to relax. Oh, no, you need to relax. <laughs> <laughs> Be calm. Take a deep breath. See these fingers? They work wonders. This won't hurt a bit. I promise. Oh, no, 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 you don't. Not, not, no, oh, wait. Oh, my God, I think I'm in love. <laughs> Dean Fox. You are not Dean Fox. No, honey, I'm the new Dean. Ooh, wait. Look what the gods done sent me. 1925, Dr. Bob Stern discovered this. He believed that this was some sort of symbol for, oh, people who would go into the cave and tell them how to get out, because he himself had gotten lost at this point in his time, telling people to travel northward. Would you knock it off? Stern map. We call this the Stern map. They use this at NASA to Sorry, get the spaceships from uh, Earth up to the moon and back. Without this, uh, Pondo, take me. Pondo, this is every man's dream. I'm scared and I'm tired. Go away! Scared of what? Every woman I see wants me. That's wonderful. No, it's terrible, Studley. I have been greedy. I'm like King Midas. Everything I touch turns to poontang. All this fuss, this commotion over who? Over Pando? Of course, in the total scope of things, he wasn't asking for very much. He just wanted to get himself a little, that's all. Boy, he did all right. Oh, 
Honda? Thank you ever so much for watching another fine late night feature. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as we enjoyed showing it to you. Right, Lightning? Oh, sure, Lightning enjoyed showing it to you, too. <laughs> 
And that's it for me, Joe Bob Briggs, reminding you that when everything's coming your way, you're in the wrong damn lane. <laughs> You guys hear the one about the guy who walks into a bar and sits down next to this very attractive woman, and he gives her a quick glance, and then he looks at his watch. And the woman notices this, and she says, is your date running late? And the guy says, no, I just bought this state-of-the-art watch, and I was just testing it. And the woman says, a state-of-the-art watch? What's so special about it? And the guy says, well, it uses alpha waves to telepathically talk to me. And the woman says, what's it telling you now? And the guy says, well, it's telling me that you're not wearing any panties. And the woman kind of giggles and she says, well, it must be broken then because I am wearing panties. And the guy says, damn thing must be an hour fast. <laughs> Joe Bob Briggs reminding you that the drive-in will never die. You didn't like that one? I like that one. All right, this 80-year-old woman is living at a retirement home. One day she goes into the men's rec room and she holds her clenched fist up in the air and she says, anybody who can guess what's in my hand can have sex with me tonight. Nobody says anything for a minute. And then this old guy in the back says, an elephant? She looks at him, she says, close enough. 